<laughs> so I'm going to make a two inch square tessellation for you guys and I'm going to go over the process of how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go file new. I'm going to make an eight inch by eight inch height 300 resolution file. And then from there, I'm going to create uh, guidelines. So the quick and easy way of doing it is you make a new guide layout and you do four columns and four rows. And so the computer is figuring it out, the perfect measurements for you to make it two inch squares. So you don't have to do a very complicated thing. You just, again, just go file, uh, new guide, and then uh, file new guide layout, and then you'll be able to do four by four. From there, you go to an image that you're interested. So file open. And then I'm going to choose one of these pictures that I've done before. Maybe I'll choose a photograph that I did in Anza Borrego during the big um, super bloom last fall. And I'm going to crop out a two inch square that I'm going to choose for the photograph. So to do that, I'm going to use the crop tool. I'm going to scroll to where it says W times H times resolution, which is width times height times resolution. And I'm going to make it two inches, two IN by two IN, 300 pixels per inch. I'm then going to choose a specific area that I'm interested in. And I just press enter to choose that area. From there, I use the move tool and I move this to the side. I take the middle of the photograph and I move it to one of the squares. I then also make sure that it's lined up by the purple lines, making sure that there's purple lines all around. And then from there, I duplicate that layer. And then I scooch that over. I go edit, transform, flip horizontal, so I can make sure that it's completely lined up. I then move the guideline over to make sure there's no white lines. I might make this a little bit bigger. <coughs> and then I merge those two layers by using the mouse click, going layer, merge layers. So that way it's much easier and it's totally lined up in everything else. From there, I duplicate that layer say okay, move it over, and again, do the same thing again. Make sure it's completely lined up. Merge those two layers by going command click, and I go merge layers. I then duplicate that once again, duplicate that layer, say okay, drag it down, and then go to edit, transform, flip vertical, and again, make sure that it's totally lined up by moving the guidelines slightly, it looks really good. And then I merge those two together. So merge layers. From there, I do the same thing again. I duplicate that one, say okay, drag it down, make sure it's totally lined up, it looks beautiful. And then I merge those two together, go to layer, merge layers. And then from here, if I want to, I can also go to edit, I can go to image, and then I can adjust the hue, saturation, color balance, whatever I want to do to make it even more interesting. You can also leave it the way you want to, however you want to do it, but it's just to know that you have some options to do however you want to make it to make it more dynamic. Just know whatever you do, you have to make sure that the image itself is as one, otherwise it'll get all funky. From there, I'm going to go to layer, merge visible, and then I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to save it on my computer. And then I'm going to save it as my last name, first name. And then I'm going to say Tessellation and whichever tessellation it is, whether it's number three or whatever it is. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. All right. So the merging the layers makes it much easier and it also looks much better. And I'm also going to check and make sure everything looks good. And I think it looks terrific. So thanks.